Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing. I'm actually really excited about this boxing because this this set actually completes the set completes my uh, Happy Places Rainbow Beach. This is the last set that I needed, and this is the Shopkins Happy Places Rainbow Beach Happy Convertible. Now, anyone who's been a, a Happy Places uh, little shoppy collector uh, knows that in the past, I, and I want to believe it was like last year. They came out with a pink convertible set that w came out with, um, uh, I can't remember what season it actually was, but it came out with um, a little shoppy, um, Pippa Melon, and this one comes with the exclusive Rainbow Kate, and then Picnic Pecan accessories. These accessories are pretty much the same accessories that came with the original convertible, just on a recolored version, but I'm still very happy to have her. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. So, uh, without, uh, let's just flip this over here. And we'll go to the side here. We have a little caption here with a picture of Rainbow Kate. It says, happiness is packing a picnic and chasing rainbows in the happy convertible. Rainbow Kate loves to feel the wind in her hair and drive to Rainbow Beach for a picnic with some colorful petkins. Life is a highway and Rainbow Kate is ready to follow the sun for some summer fun. And we'll go ahead and look at the back here. And it says Rainbow Beach. Let's hit the road and follow the rainbow to Rainbow Beach. It's the perfect happy place for Rainbow Kate to picnic with her petkin accessories. So jump in and come for a spin in the most colorful convertible around. It's going to be one sweet ride. And then it says, underneath it says, Exclusive Rainbow Kate and Picnic Accessories. And it says, Store your Petkin accessories inside the Happy Convertible. So the trunk opens up. And then also the doors open up. So I'm pretty, this is, a, I love this. And then we have the box art on the back. And then it says, There... There is happiness at the end of every rainbow. So we're going to go ahead and open this up and then we will come back and show you it unboxed. So yeah, before I get this completely unboxed, I just wanted to show you the backdrop of this really quickly. Um, it shows the Rainbow Beach house. It shows a bunch of palm trees. It shows the little huts that the blind bag, uh, the blind bag little pets come in. And then a lot of terrain, and then a sidewalk, and a street that goes all the way back, and some clouds. And then a rainbow on the top, and then some more trees. And then this fake little picnic bench that just sets up for their, um, I don't know. I, and then a little picnic blanket. I, I, I don't know. It, I just think that it always amazes me that Moose does just amazing with the background drop that they do with the actual toys. Their, their box art production is just outstanding to me. That's it. Um... I know I say this in most of my videos, but I can't help myself. So the first thing we're going to look at is the actual car itself. <laughs> There's a little insert here that says, pick up your friends, fits four shoppies. So we're going to just actually grab that out. We may at the end, I'm probably at the end going to fill it up for you and show you how they all fit in. But here we go. So it's a white convertible. We have a rainbow, well, sort of a rainbow. I, I, it's the uh, It's pink yellow and blue and that's kind of the scheme that's going on here and the doors do open which is awesome because you know they don't have to open in order to put them in but i love that they add that feature because doors that open are pretty cool to me okay so let's go take a look at the interior we have um shoot i get a big mess here all right so the interior we have the back seat is pink uh but the back seats are pink and then the front seats are yellow and then our interior design in the door, which is another thing they didn't have to add, but they did. We have, uh, let's see if I can get a quick close-up of looking out of that. See, like, there all, there's all these different shapes in there. We have hearts and stars and, and um, asteroids and circles. We have a, a dark blue in the, well, actually, we have, yeah, no, they're both the same. So we have a blue in the back and then a blue that goes all the way in the front of the console. Um, even, like, the, the little buttons and the whatever in there for rolling the window down, which they don't have windows. They are already preset down. 
And then we have our, um, the, the stick or the shift stick is a pink color. And then pretty much white, all white, um, in the interior design that's here. And then we have a movable blue steering wheel. Now it doesn't really move any of the wheels or anything, but it does turn, which is cool. And then we have, um, our little, uh, side mirrors here, which they did go ahead and put a clear plastic on. Uh, you can't really see anything in it, but that's okay. The fact that they're there is great. Uh, then we get the windshield, which is like a tinted blue. So we turn it around. Now, another feature I wanted to show you is the wheels themselves. They're different, all different colors. So this, the ba this back wheel, you can see, is yellow, and then the the hubcap is blue, and then on this front wheel, it is pink with yellow hubcap, and then when we turn it around, it's blue with a purple hubcap, and then back here, it's lavender with a pink hubcap. So pretty cool. All right, so back to the front here. We have Happy Places written in the front, um, embedded in their plastic here. And with all the different shapes. So uh, we got storage on the front. And then that just pushes back down. Oh, I forgot to show you in the interior. Yeah, I'm all over the place here. In the interior, um, there's a couple of storage places, like they can put their cell phone or something in here, and then there's a couple of, like, uh, cup caddies, so they can have cups. They can have their coffees or something. And then we have other storage in the back. What just... Right. We have other storage in the back. I, I honestly don't know how this car drives because there really is no, um, no, there really is no engine, unless maybe, maybe this could be one of those cars that has the engine in the middle. I'll just imagine that. So there's more uh, space in the trunk here. Uh, you can see that there's a circle there. That's probably where the spare tire is supposed to go, and we'll talk about that later. But you even have the detail back here that look like the uh, blinker lights. And then when you look at the end here, we have a little um, trailer hitch, which which the other um, the other convertible had too. But we got that. So yeah, that's our car. Pretty cute, I think. Oh, and I forgot to say that the side mirror is also double his ears. So you get the little bear face. I think absolutely adorable to me. Okay. So next, moving on. So we have this, we have this cute picnic basket. <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on with it. It's got a puppy ear, it looks like, but it also has a bear ear. So, um, I, I don't know. It's, I guess, a, a mutant. <laughs> but it's cute. So it's uh, it looks like it's pink with a little bit. Of, it goes like a like a purplish on the bottom, and then it goes up to pink. And then obviously these are blue, but it's uh, it's beer bear ear. It's bear ear <laughs> is uh, yellow, and then we have and then the puppy ear is pink. I don't know what's going on with this, but I don't know if it can make up its mind what it's what it wants to be. Anyhow, so we got that picnic basket, and we have this little caddy here that can carry stuff. And here's our spare tire, our pink spare tire, with, um, this one definitely wants to be a bear, but the two, the two bear ears are, one's green, and one's purple, and then we have the yellow center of the tire, and nothing going on in the back, no print in the back, except for we got a cute little bear tail. Okay, what else do we have in that pack? I think we have a couple of smaller accessories. We have the keys, which you know is always have always nice to have. We can just put them right here in this pack if we wanted to. We don't want to lose them because you know if you don't have the keys. And then we have um, a little credit card. So this is probably supposed to be someone's purse, maybe. I don't know. Put the credit card in the front. And then the keys right here. Okay, so we're moving on to our other accessories we have here. 
and our rainbow cape. We'll do the accessories first. There's all our little our little paper table. Obviously, we can't really keep that for display, but this was in there for for aesthetics reasons. Okay. So for our picnic basket, see if I can get this out here. Okay. For our picnic basket, we have a melon, which is clearly a watermelon because it's um, green. And then it's got, um, it's pink on the inside. And if you look really close and it's really hard for me to show you. Oh, there we go. There's seeds inside there. Didn't need to be, but there is. And the melon itself has um, all this texture like a watermelon would have. And uh, two different color beer ears. Um, you got the uh, blue and the pink. And there's also a little slice of melon who's got a fa bare face on him with his beer ears. And um, the slice of melon will fit perfectly right inside the little notch that's out. See? So now we have a full melon. It looks funny though because they both have ears. But um, yeah, that fits in there. So we're going to put this melon into our basket because we need melon for our picnic. And here we have, um, I think it's a, a mug, uh, no, um, a thermos. It's probably a thermos. And uh, some of the old school thermoses, um, probably some of the new ones too. I haven't really looked at thermoses lately, but they have removable cups. So it'll, it'll be a lid and a cup. And then you have... Uh, Whatever it is you're drinking, if it's it could be soup, it could be a uh, hot coffee. On a day like this, it, it needs to be something hot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna say that there's hot chocolate in there because there should be hot chocolate to go with the melon. So we'll do that. And then what do we got here? And this is most definitely a coffee mug or slash a hot chocolate mug. So good. That means that somebody can have hot chocolate in this, and someone can have hot chocolate in that. So, we could at least have a picnic for two. So that's all of our accessories that came with it. And then we have, of course, the stand. Which is just the basic stand. Nothing special. But hey, like I, like I say in all the videos, that the fact that they come with stands is great with me. So we're going to put her on our stand and then we'll go, we'll take a closer look at Rainbow Kate. Now I was under the impression for a little while before I started looking at her that she was a recolor to a design that we had already seen. No, she's not. No, I thought, cause I mean the, the I'm trying to think, uh, Rainbow Kate the little little shoppies, Rainbow Kate. I think we've only seen twice. We have our original version. I mean, I, I'll probably get into this in another video, but no, she's she's um clearly an exclusive version. She has um lavender hair that actually has the ombre effect, and it turns into like a really light blue at the end of her curls. And she also has um like a dark pink elastic band that goes around her two. Her two curly uh, ponytails. And then there's the back of her hair. And she has uh, lavender eyes. And she's got um, her... It's really hard to get it to focus. But she does have her signature um, little sprinkle, fe fr sprinkle freckles. <laughs> and she's got... An, this version of her has an open mouth and pink lips. So you can actually see her teeth in there. Uh, moving down to her outfit, she's wearing this cute pink dress that has a dark pink collar, um, a light blue heart underneath it, and then a yellow bow. Her texture of the dress, it's like it has dots all over it, but the dots are the same color as the dress, so you can barely see them in the camera. And then she has ruffles at the bottom of her dress that match the, the, dark, the dark pink that's on the collar and in her hair. She's not wearing any tights, she's, so she's bare-skinned under, under there. And then she has purple shoes. Let's see if I can get a close-up on those. So she has, like, a dark purple shoes, and then they almost look like they have frosting, like a little frosting on the uh, top parts, and then on the back, 
Nothing too special going on with the heels, but they're very much platforms. So she's really cute. And then I will show you, like, she has the all the other movement that all the other little shoppies have. Her arms go up and down, her head goes back and forth, and then her um, her she bends at the waist. So you can make her sit or kick out, kick back, do the splits, that kind of thing. And then, of course, like all the other little shoppies... She does have a removable outfit, so underneath she has, it looks like a, um, a pinkish colored, um, I want to say bathing suit or bodysuit. So you can always interchange, um, intermix or remix their outfits if you want, mix them all up, match them. I prefer to keep mine all in the original because, you know, I am a collector. But, okay, so that's all for that set, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set her up. And I'm probably going to bring the trail out so I can show you what it all looks like together. Okay, so I got a couple of girls in the car so I can show you how they all fit in. Uh, we are missing a, another girl. I wasn't able to pull one out. I could probably put... You know what? Hold on. Okay, so I put Pinky Cola in there. So now... So now we have a full load <laughs> of shoppy girls in the... Get that in, there, in the car. And I also wanted to show us, I don't know if you can see it. You probably can. I'm going to have to move her now that I put her there. Let me see. That's um, the uh, coffee mug or the cocoa mug that we got with the thing. So it's in there pretty stiff. It pops right in that hole. So you can you can even put like fruit salad cups that you can get um, from like the cafeteria and stuff in there. And they sit in there well too. There's one in the front, one in the back. Um, and I uh, also put... We got our spare tire and our um, our luggage in the front, and then we have our picnic basket in the back. So we're we're grooving with our melon. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll attach it to our um, to our camper. So now we are completely rainbow beached out. We got a full. We got the all four girls in our car in the front. Um. We got our picnic basket, we got our trailer. So we're not only off to have a picnic, we're out to go camping. So I hope that one melon's going to be enough for them. But you know what though, we have a full fridge back here, so I'm sure... Wait, what do we have back here for uh, for food? Hold on. I'm really distracted. Alright, so we have eggs, we have toast, we're good. And now our girls are off to their Rainbow Beach adventure. And that is all we have for you today. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe because uh, I got more coming for you um, almost every day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.